damaged Israeli army truck was dramatic evidence of the mayhem that erupted in Nabatea. The Israelis claimed one of their vehicle patrols came under fire in the Shiite Muslim town. The Israelis fired back and 10 passers-by were wounded. The Arabs said that the patrol taking place as it did on the day of an important Muslim festival had angered a crowd of Shiites. They had attacked the patrol with sticks, stones and firebombs and the Israelis had opened up with their guns. Nor were the troubles confined to Nabatea. Lebanese soldiers traded fire with Shiite militiamen on the southern outskirts of Beirut. The gun battle was another violation of the ceasefire that threatens to come completely unstuck before the National Reconciliation Conference can get underway. The talks are due to open Thursday, but with trigger fingers seeming to get itchier by the hour in Lebanon, it's anybody's guess whether the talks can even get going, let alone bear fruit. And American Marines in Beirut were once again on alert. The day before, they'd taken part in a seven-hour battle at one of their bases near Beirut's international airport. One Marine had died and three others been wounded in the battle. We're not sure uh, what's going on. Uh, Nabi Berry has been working to uh, defuse the situation uh, with them all. He's the leader of them all. But uh, yesterday, early in the afternoon, fighting between various factions in the Amal areas broke out and spilled over into the Italian contingent. And then a short time later, uh, was directed against the Marine positions. There was also some fighting between factions in uh, Ashway Fought and Calde. So it's apparent that uh, someone uh, is unhappy with the ceasefire and uh, is trying to break it down and, and uh, put pressure on the multinationals to withdraw so that they can uh, have their way in Lebanon. <laughs>